Hello everyone, I am back again today. It's all about tanning and getting ready for summer because it is literally just a couple weeks away. So having said that, you know, being out in the sun can be good because it's vitamin D, but it can also be harmful with UV rays. This is why it's important that if you wanna get a tan, doing a selfless tan is probably the best thing and have a year round tan. I mean, who doesn't wanna have a tan year round? We don't wanna be pasty, right? No, not me anyways. But I wanted to let you guys know that before I actually show you what I put on and how I apply it, prepping your skin is super important because if you've seen any of my past videos, you know that I'm, I'm always telling you exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate because it's super important. So before you wanna put on a self tanner, you want to exfoliate your skin really good. And I wanna show you the two products that I use to exfoliate really well. And then after you exfoliate, you moisturize. So I'm gonna show you that too. So to exfoliate my body, I have Skin Cosmetics, well, body wash, but it has exfoliating granules and it's grapefruit scented. This one's really great because it's not too like dry like some of them are. This one is kind of half liquidy and then like really kind of, I wanna say has a lot of beads and granules in it to really scrub and get it good. And plus it has a nice scent. So this is what I use. I told you I am a firm believer in Skin Cosmetics and their products and so I use pretty much everything that they have. This one's a great one. So exfoliate your whole body wherever it is that you're tanning. And of course, if you have an exfoliator for your face, use that too, because I'm gonna show you in just a second exactly what we do about that. But one of the hardest parts of the body to actually exfoliate and tan is the feet. I mean, because the, the skin on the feet is very different from the skin on the rest of the body. It's really rough because obviously you're walking on it all the time. So Skin Cosmetics has foot fetish, and this is like a, thick granule exfoliator for your feet. And so I use this around the heels and the edges and the sides of my feet, my toes, because we do want to tan the top and the sides of the feet so that it looks like you got a natural tan that you've been out in the sun. So this is a really great one to use. And the body one, these two, for sure, you got to use this and exfoliate your face as well if you want to tan that. So that's the first step is I use this already. I've already exfoliated. The next step is to hydrate certain areas that are like rough parts of the skin or that would not really apply totally even, that you kind of want it to kind of fade out, the tan to fade. And what I mean by that is like on the sides or the edges of your feet and your toes and from the back of the heel down to the heel, you kind of don't want there to be like a distinct brown line and then your foot is white. You kind of want it to fade. So it's important that ahead of time, you give it time to actually absorb. You can use whatever hand cream or body cream that you have. Of course, I use Skin Cosmetics Collagenesis. This is an anti-aging body cream or body butter. And what you wanna do is you wanna rub it on the feet, on the heels, on the sides of the feet, on the toes, on your elbows, on your hands. You wanna rub it on your hands because this skin also gets like a different texture because you use your hands for so many different things. So when you go to tan it, it can look kind of weird because you'll see like a distinct line where you've tanned it and then the other part of your hands that you don't want to tan on the palms. So make sure that you moisturize ahead of time and that you let this absorb because this is going to help the transition that when you're rubbing in the tanning oil or the tanning cream or mousse or whichever one you decide to use, that it's going to be more of a faded tan from the top part of the hand or the top part of the foot to the bottom. That's really what we wanna do, that's very crucial. Having said that, that's what you need to prep it. There are two self tanners that I use. My number one, my go-to that I have been using for so many years and I love this because it's an oil, it is not a cream, so it's so much easier to blend. It's made from organic argan oil and it is the Josie Marin liquid gold self tanning oil, all right? I usually order this off of QVC because it comes as a package deal where you get the oil that actually tans and then you get the body butter tan extender and the mitten to apply it. 
So it all comes as a package deal. They sell this product also at Sephora, but you're gonna pay a lot more for it than you would on QVC. So that's something to think about. So this is my number one. Like if I had to choose between the two that I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be the number one. This will run you about 38 to $40 and it usually lasts me a really long time because I only apply it maybe once, twice a week. And because it's oil, it spreads, it's thin, it's easier to maneuver and manipulate it over the skin. All right, having said that, let me move on to the second self tanner that I like to use. This one I've been experimenting with for the last few months. This is by Loving Tan and I use the dark and it is a quick dry, it's a bronzer, it's got moisturizer in it. Um, this is probably my second favorite. This one will give you a quick, immediate looking tan. This one, it does, but it kind of gradually works darker over time as you leave it on. But this one, as soon as you put it on, you're, you're already going to look dark. And as it stays on longer, you're going to look even darker until you wash it off. And then it'll be more of that natural medium tone. This, this one and this one, the reason I like these two is because I have olive colored skin, which is more of like yellow tones. And what I tend to see is that when you use self tanners, it gives more of an orangey to brown. And for people who have olive colored skin or maybe fair skin, it looks unnatural. You want something that just gives you a glow, but that doesn't look crazy on you. So the reason this is the number one and this is the number two, and I'll tell you this right up front because it's important. I hate it when people advertise things or tell you to use things, but then they don't tell you the downside in using it. This one, be careful which scent you get. This is a vanilla scent. My favorite is the strawberry daiquiri because the vanilla one almost smells like pancake syrup. And maybe some of you like the super sweet smell but that kind of annoys me. I don't like smelling like pancake syrup. So the only downside to this is if I put this on before I go out of the house and I'm wearing clothes and I'm trying to wear perfume, it kind of, the smell of it interacts with my body chemistry and with my perfume. So this might be something that you put on at night and wash off in the morning. And yes, there is a slight amount of transfer if you sweat, perspire, whatever. This one doesn't really have so much of a distinct smell or scent, but the downside to this one is if you don't exfoliate every couple of days with this one, and like right now I'm looking at my arm because I used it about a week ago, when my skin starts to like shed and come off, you see like patchy kind of slight speckled discoloration. So that would, say, that would have to be my only hang up with the Loving Tan one, is that if you don't exfoliate on a regular basis, even when you're not applying this, like you've applied it in a couple of days later, you really need to exfoliate before you apply again on a regular basis. This one you can kind of get away with, not exfoliating every single time because it's an oil, but because this is a mousse, and it's not made from argan oil. This has got other ingredients. I think the first ingredient is actually water. So this one, um, that's why it ends up coming up second. There's pros and cons to both, but I would say if you have to choose, go with this one. Just make sure that you get something as far as a scent that you'll really like. I'm not so much on scents when it comes to uh, self tanning stuff. so. That's up to you. Having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and shake this bottle up because I wanted to show you how this one works. I used this one yesterday, but I'm gonna show you how this one works because I'm getting ready to go out and I need a quick tan. So I'm gonna spray a nice size pump right on to here, it's foam. Right there, see that? And I'm getting ready to apply it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna start right here on the neck and the shoulders. I always start at the top and work my way down. I'm doing it all up on my neck, up to the hairline. I'm getting this top part. See how like it automatically starts giving you like a deeper color. Put another pump. And now onto the shoulder. You guys can see that's really good. Bring it on to my back. Another pump onto the arm. Okay. 
onto the hand. I just rub it on the top to the side. Stop a little bit right there. And yes, even into like the armpit area here, not too much focus in that area. <laughs> Make sure you get a good layer. Rub, rub, blend, blend, blend. It's super, super important that you blend good. That way you don't have any streaking. We'll switch to the other hand. Apply another pump and put it on the shoulder area over here. And underneath the arm, all of this I'm gonna get all of it. A little bit more. And I'm gonna do the forearm. And the hand. a nice even layer here we've got the top part what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I apply it on my legs down to my feet because that's super important and a note before I do that whenever you're done tanning all of the body whatever is left on your mitt don't put like a pump on there don't put a squirt of it on there just whatever residue is left on the mitten from the tanning cream or mousse or oil, whichever one you decide to use, you're gonna take that and you're going to lightly rub it into the face all the way up to the hairline, avoiding the under eye area onto the forehead. Now I have makeup on today, but typically that's what I would do to kind of give my skin a little bit more of a glow. Because on those days that you really don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, you want your face to be able to match your body, you go ahead and give yourself an evenness. So you just take what's left, rub it onto the face, into the creases of the nose, the chin, down and down the neck and the jawline, avoiding only the under eye area. Now let me show you how I do my legs. Okay, what you wanna do is, just like what we did with the upper part of the body, you want to get a good size pump and really work it in. The trick to doing the legs to the feet is that you emphasize more of the product up at the top part of the leg. Just like I said earlier about your face, you kind of want to wait until whatever is left, whatever residue is left from the tanner on the mitten, that's what you want to place over the foot into the side and around the heel. And you gotta work it into the edges in between the toes, in the side of the foot, all the way down to the heel. That's why it was important to moisturize and exfoliate ahead of time so that it can get like an even coloration. And there you go. As you can see, it's pretty simple. If you do the prep work before you use self-tanner and exfoliate and moisturize, and then blend, 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 whichever product you decide to use, blending is so, so important. And make sure that when you get to the edges of things, like I said before, that you're just using what's left over so that you don't get a harsh line on your face, on your hands, or on your feet. It's pretty simple. I bet you guys are gonna have a beautiful glow after using all of this. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanna give a shout out to all you ladies who are my subscribers and who've watched my video and giving me all the love and comments. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe, sign up, send me a comment, give me a thumbs up and let me know that this really helped you and you appreciate it. 
And if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Facebook, it's bonnieallen.fashion. Come follow me. I put daily fashion and beauty posts up there for you guys and always letting you know what products work and what don't. And I just want to remind you ladies that beauty can be at any age.